Okay, good morning everybody. I am going to be showing you, uh, taking you through a process of building a studio desk that I found online at jackdanielsrecording.com. Um, if you Google his website, uh, this is where I got the idea for this desk I'm going to build. Um, he posted a bunch of pictures on there about his step-by-step -step process and it's very detailed, but he doesn't post any measurements or anything like that. Um, so basically what I'm going to be doing is building the desk out of some um, three-quarter inch birch that I got. Uh, this is seven-ply birch that I got at the Home Depot. He uses red oak, but I've got some friends that are deal with some finished carpentry work, and they recommended that I not try to do it out of the red oak. It might have some splintering issues. So I've got my Makita saw here with a very fine tooth blade on it that you can see that is appropriate for cutting uh, hardwood to minimize splintering. Um, and there's some tricks of the trade. Um, now I'm a novice, I, I don't do a lot of finished carpentry work, but um, I've built some shelves and I've done some trim work before. So um, what you're looking at here is basically a scale. I did two inches equals a foot. Um, this is the side panel. These are, there's, there's four of these because there's two kind of like side racks and then there's a center desk where the uh, monitor goes and where your keyboards go and stuff like that. Now, if you want to hop off here and go check out the website and see what the finished product's supposed to look like, you might want to do that and then come back to here. But essentially, I estimated his measurements. Um, this is 29 from floor to desk height, from top of desk, which is comfortable. Um, this is 20 inches. Um, this whole width here is 36 inches. Okay, so this is about 16. Um, about a foot by a foot um, and then this angle basically just kind of you know matches where the the top of the desk is going to be and then comes down to match kind of where the back of the desk is going to be and then your rack sticks out here this is where your rack gear is going to be and there's also going to be racked gear in here um, so I am going to lay this out on one of my pieces of plywood I basically had them take eight by fours and cut them down the middle. I bought three of them and I had to get them home some way and I have a small pickup truck but this is the only way for me to get it home. Um, so, but all of my pieces, you know, this is, this is, I laid this out on my desk here just as a practice run. This is 41 inches, okay, so from, from the top to the bottom. So even if you have your wood cut in sections of uh, four foot, you're going to be able to uh, still lay this all out and have an extra some extra wood to make your, you know, your tops out and so forth for the top of the desk and the top of the desk here. All right. Um, so I'm going to lay the first one out and cut it up. <laughs> 